Americans have worked around the clock to fight COVID, but according to Healthcare Education Project, New York's top 10 insurers have turned the crisis into profits. Now a new piece of legislation could change that. Capital correspondent Amel Taliji has more. When insurance companies are taking profits that are at record levels and taking that funding to other states, there's something wrong with that. So what we're doing is we're rectifying it. We're making sure that the profits that are being taken outside of New York State are actually taxed at 9.63% and reinvested back into New Yorkers. Senator Tim Kennedy, a key sponsor for the Reinvest in New York Health Care Act, says with his legislation, the tax funds will go towards New York's most distressed hospitals who have felt the impacts over the last two years. The pandemic, it was just kind of crazy to see how, you know, we're really reliant on our, on our people, but it's really hard to show them how much, you know, we appreciate that when, you know, we just don't have the funding or we don't have anything to, you know, say, hey, thank you with. However, Leslie Moran, the vice president of New York Health Plan Association, opposes this legislation. She says it's unconstitutional and in violation of the Commerce and Due Process Clause. Moran says the state already taxes health insurers to the tune of $6 billion a year, and this bill would unfairly double tax health insurers. We already feel that the, tax, the taxes on health insurance are already high. They're, they're too high, and there are sufficient taxes in the, in the system, and if we reallocated some of those taxes to support the struggling hospitals, that would be a better use of resources that already are in, in our state offers. This is the first time this legislation has been brought to the floor. The sponsors of this bill hope to see it pass this session as a way to make New York health care systems as strong as possible. Reporting at the Capitol, Amel Taliji. A local track and